welcome to mini tutorials in spectroscopy. Let's talk about the vibrational Raman effect. Vibrational Raman transitions arise from inelastic light scattering processes wherein the molecule changes vibrational state. Conservation of angular momentum dictates that vibrational transitions must be accompanied by rotational transitions of delta J equals plus 2, 0, or minus 2, which give rise to S, Q, and O branches. Note that delta J is defined as the excited state J value minus the lower state J value. Thus, vibrational Stokes bands exhibit an S branch to low wave number, an O branch to higher wave number, and a central Q branch. Vibrational anti-Stokes transitions are associated with relaxation of a vibrationally excited molecule. The transitions are also subject to the delta J equals plus 2, 0, and minus 2 selection rule. In this case, though, the O branch is to low wave number of the Q branch, which is to low wave number of the S branch. Let's calculate the first lines for the vibrational Stokes band of H2 when it's probed with a 488 nanometer argon ion laser. Recall that the first lines in the rotational branches are the S0, Q0, and O2. We calculate the wave number of the scattered light by subtracting the internal energy gained by the molecule from the incident photon wave number. Here we must consider vibrational and rotational energy. As expected, we find that the vibrational Stokes S0 line has a lower wave number than the Q0 line, which is again lower in wave number than the O2 line. I hope that you found this short video on vibrational Raman spectroscopy useful. See you next time.